Okay, creative. So in the last tutorial, we had a look at adjustment layers and how to affect adjustments on just the layer directly beneath it, as well as all um, layers. We also had a look at how to place non-destructive adjustments on both through these adjustment panels here and this one down in the bottom right hand corner, as well as the destructive methods of going into adjustments and playing with these adjustments up in here. All right, basically try and use non-destructive unless you know for certain you're not going to need to come back and change it later on. In today's video, we're kind of going to be jumping into this rendered and trying to apply these adjustments into an architectural rendering. So I'll leave a link for this image down in the description down below. Basically, you can kind of Google it and find it on Google Images. Um, but we're going to start off by putting a hue and saturation layer on it. Again, I'm only going to affect the background, so I'm going to hold down Alt and click on this down in here. And I'm just going to punch up the blues just slightly. And I'm also going to drop our saturation down to maybe 50. Now, at the moment, it's affecting all of that background image. However, I don't want to affect these lighting. So we've got one, two, three, and the corridor. Um, so I'm going to jump in. And you'll notice here our adjustments also have a layer mask like, like that that can be applied to your standard layer. So I'm going to come in here and grabbing our marquee tool by hitting M, I'm just going to grab our marching ants and select them holding down shift to do multiple selections all right and we're just going to select all of these kind of glass paint areas i'm only going to do this really quite roughly all right normally i'd mask out this kind of table but for now it will do now holding down alt let's go into our layer mask and we've got our marching ants in there and i'm going to hit g and just mask each of those out right um and then we're going to hit command and d or control and d on pc just to um, deselect those all right now we can click on this um this circle to go back in and you can see there that it isn't affecting the lights inside but it is affecting the light outside so we've just kind of muted everything just slightly and now our next kind of tip is to kind of hit command or control J and we're duplicating this again we're going to alt and only apply it to the background and the reason I want to duplicate this is to kind of adjust the windows now so you'll notice that by duplicating it it's actually doubled the intensity of that previous layer mask that's fine because as we hold alt and click in that we're actually going to invert this selection so now it's going to show the um, adjustment on these windowed areas and hide it on everything else so again clicking on this circle we can come back in here and we can adjust our little bits and pieces of saturation so i can actually up our saturation slightly and just play with these these tones so i'm just going to jump those just slightly you notice there that there is only a minute change all right not too much but on our background there is a fairly substantial change depending on the kind of look that you're after okay from here we're going to have a little play with our brightness and contrast all right and i'm not actually going to manipulate this too much right because i actually like the way the image is looking but just my minor changes okay can make a big difference moving on from this you can have a look at your levels now if you're not used to seeing histograms all right this is the histogram here this piece in white basically the left hand side represents all the dark images or the blacks in the image and the white is all the or this far one on the right it represents all the whites so you can see there's a fair few little bits of whites here and it's probably just these bulbs where they're kind of a little bit blown out and over white which is fine um, and by manipulating these I can make the image darker and I can also make the image lighter so this is a really easy way to kind of make some big big changes um, very very quickly so I can just kind of play with these slightly and again you can adjust the red greens and blues or all the red green and blues in the RGB channel all right there is presets if you guys really want to kind of play with them so I can lighten it up but again I don't really want to do that so I'm just going to hit command Z moving on from there you've also got a curves now the curves again you're going to have a a histogram so you can see the histogram in the back and this is where we're seeing at the moment for our RGB channel all right again you've got red greens and blues but it's up to you guys to dictate however you want so i'm going to drop down the whites just slightly raise up the blacks all right so that way we get a little bit more um color in the background here all right so you can see it's kind of lightened up the background all right and then we can, might end up kind of pulling this down and in and this one up so you got your standard s curve I'm not a huge fan of how that kind of looks, but for some images it works really well. So I'm actually going to turn off the curves. I'm probably going to turn off the levels a little bit. Alright, just because I think that the image to begin with actually looked pretty good. 
and by manipulating these I'm going to start to negatively impact the image. From here let's jump into this photo filter and this is the last um, adjustment I'm going to show you guys really quickly and we're going to apply this to everything so I'm not too concerned about holding down alt and selecting it. And this has got a few different filters. So you've got warming filters, cooling filters, um, and then a few others. So I'm just going to play with our cooling filters. And you can see here, it's just kind of making everything a little bit more blue and cooling things down. All right, I think that's a little bit too much. So let's just play with these other filters a little bit. And I actually don't mind that LBB one. And you can change the density just slightly. So I'm going to drop the density down to 20. And then in our opacity, I'm going to drop this down slightly as well. And again, you can see just a minor change there, but it just changes the overall tone of the image just slightly. It gives it more of a bluey look, more kind of representative of maybe a dawn kind of shot where you get those blue kind of turn tones coming through. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave this tutorial right here, but just before closing, I'm just going to show you guys how those couple little adjustments we made make such a difference. So if we go back to our original shot, right, we've got more of a HDR type image, high dynamic, dynamic range, we've got a whole heap of other kind of colours, and I've just kind of muted it by doing a few little steps. So definitely jump into your adjustments, have a play with them because it's the best way to learn. Just remember to kind of keep them nice and simple. Um, don't make too many large adjustments with them. The minor ones are the best. And hopefully you guys got something out of this tutorial. And I will see you guys on the next section.